Hi guys and welcome to the next lesson. Now let's create another flow within uh, InVision Studio and this flow is dedicated to renting a car with this instant pickup button. So what I'm going to do is first select and duplicate the Lamborghini screen and I think that I will save you the design process because it's fairly easy and I believe that you already know how to create shapes and uh, link them all together or align them. So what I'm going to do instead is just delete the interactions first so that it's faster. Basically, Studio in its current form is not pretty fast if you have multiple screens. So it's always best to um, have the things that are not useful for your uh, recent flow to just delete them. And I'm going to delete the numbers as well as results. I don't need Ferrari or M4. So let's get rid of all the things that are unnecessary for this particular flow. And as you've probably noticed, I'm creating all the flows, different flows, to, so different tasks for the users in different rows. So here is the first flow to select, select the car. Then we have the filter flow. And then the next task for the user is to just pick up a car. So let's change the name of this artboard to pick up one. And uh, let's see what we can do here. So let's leave those elements, but I need to change the position of the elements and also hide some things. So for example, this one, let's move it to the top. Now also I want to move the Lamborghini header or oh, there's plenty of headers. To be honest, I don't need that structure as well. So let's put it there and let's lead uh, this. And okay, now I can just put the header to the top like so. I think that I need an arrow. I've created an arrow in one of the previous lessons. So let's have this arrow pasted here. Let's change the color of the arrow to white. And obviously we need to make it slightly bigger. So let's shift, uh, make it bigger. And also let's change the weight so that it's slightly bolder. Okay. Now uh, let's position the arrow. It will let us go back to the previous screen. And we may, we're going to make this connection soon. But first let's select Lamborghini and let's move it to the top like so. For those elements, I want to get rid of those elements, but let's create a nice animation. So the details will go first. And uh, what you can basically do if you don't uh, want to tweak and necessarily copy and paste all the elements into different artboards, but all you want to tweak is the timing of this animation. So basically you want um, uh, the details to go a bit slower and then you want this um, uh, play inf and more info to go a bit faster. So it's as easy as positioning those elements, not in the same position, but for example, moving this uh, slightly to the left. So there is the same time for this animation, for example, one second, but this details element has just, you know, fewer pixels to go to travel to the left hand side. So this animation will be slower and this one will be faster and you don't need to tweak the timeline. So it's fairly easy. Now let's move uh, those buttons to the uh, bottom like this. Now in this clean space, we're going to have two sliders. And I've already designed those sliders. I think it, they're fairly easy, but uh, they take a while to design. So that's why I show you them ready-made and there's really nothing fancy here. So there's sliders group and uh, now we have days and time. So days, number of days you want uh, to rent the car for and also what time do you intend to return the car. So we have the sliders uh, that are basically grayed out and when you uh, move this little oval, this thumb, like so. I want to highlight this select uh, group. So I have select group, now it's hidden, but I want to reveal it so that it animates and it, it kind of mimics how uh, this should behave. And also then the number of days will change. And what I've done here is also the group with the mask as we did previously, so that I can change it like so, and it looks pretty cool. So. What we do right now is just uh, we want this select group to be to be visible both here and inside time. I also have the select group and I want it uh, visible too, but I want those group to be hidden. So let's move the opacity down and this uh, way we can create nice animation, not by hiding the layers, but simply by changing the opacity. So let's now create another screen. Let's press command D and create another screen for the pickup. And this is automatically named pickup two. And let's first change the position of this slider. So we want to have the opacity of uh, the select 100%. And then the slider is moved over here. 
as well as the number of days increases we have basically four days so let's have the number uh, four here and yeah this is pretty much it uh, what I also want here is this element this is simple as well just a rectangle and I gave it the name book so then you can confirm your order and also I want this element to appear on the previous screen so that I can hide it and then animate it up like this so let's create our first animation however if you take a look at those guys well yeah let's create an animation first so I'm gonna click on uh, this oval this thumb and press C create animation now let's have a trigger of swiping right if I swipe right on this element unfortunately in studio right now you can't have draggable elements but this will do I think this swiping right with motion and let's edit the timeline and let's see how it looks so far well it's pretty nice however you have this animation when this element appears when I don't have re the, the thumb positioned to the uh, to the right and probably we can make it appear slower or something like this however ideally it would just follow the thumb and is there any way to do it in studio well I think that you might have an idea let's go back to the artboard structure and what we have here is basically the select group well what if we create a rectangle over here let's have the initial position of the of this rectangle like that and now let's let's get rid of the fill let's move it below select and group them all together so that we have masked select one and uh, obviously we're going to create a mask out of this rectangle and now if I change the size of the rectangle so I can animate this rectangle across the artboards and it will reveal the contents of the select group so let's have the position uh, of this rectangle like this and now let's copy this to the previous artboard well basically what we're going to do is simply replace this select uh, group paste this one and get rid the, so delete the previous one so now let's uh, have this rectangle to be smaller and this is the initial position so this will go to the next screen and I think it will work well, well let's see I have to select the thumb and go to edit timeline once more and now let's see our animation well it doesn't work but I think I know why well as I told you previously sometimes you just have to get rid of the old animation so delete the interaction and then just create it once more so that studio can rebuild its cache and uh, now we select motion and let's check this out now it works so yeah it looks pretty pretty cool and what we need to do is just the same for the second uh, slider so let's have this structure quickly created for uh, the second group the second select let's have rectangle here we are gonna just duplicate those layers all over and duplicate the artboard so uh, it's best to make sure that at the very beginning you have the correct structure so let's move it there and let's group them all together and this is masked select two now let's right click on the rectangle create a mask out of it and now we can copy the structure and replace the old structure so let's have the old select gone and yeah it's here so we won't modify the position of uh, this mask selected to on this screen instead we are going to create another screen so let's duplicate it and have pickup free and here is the place where we want to modify it so basically let's have mask selected to um, change so that we have this mask right here and yeah let's see if this has the proper opacity yes I think it has but select doesn't have the opacity it has opacity zero yeah now it should work so uh, yeah let me move it even further to the right hand side like this and let's move the position of the thumb too oh there's one more thing that we need to tweak the returning hour let's move it so that we have just 1 p.m. and I think this rectangle is, is a bit too big so let's change the size of this rectangle slightly I think it won't affect the animation and also let's move it to let's have 140 okay and uh, yeah that's it all we need now to is to 
make the interaction from this thumb from the second screen to the third one while swiping right on this element you get the motion and let's edit this timeline to preview the animation so uh, this is the second step when you select the hour and yeah we can select the hour like so it works as a charm now let's get back to the artboard so that we can create missing transitions and the first one is from instant pickup to the pickup one screen after a tap we'll go with motion let's edit this timeline to preview how it looks and uh yeah let's now scrub it in i think it's pretty nice okay so we have this parallax effect we might be willing to create some offset for some animations or just change the easing but i think it's it's really nice uh, as it is right now and we also need to be able to go back from the second screen while tapping on this arrow let's select the arrow and uh, let's once more create a tappable element that's bigger than the arrow let's uh, delete the fill and just uh, press c to go back here now maybe let's do it with the preset and just i don't know maybe let's push it to the left hand side and that's it and also one more thing i need to create is the screen that uh, will be available after you confirm the order so let's have this pickup free screen duplicated once more i already have the elements needed for this screen but first let's create animations so that it for example goes there and the lamborghini itself goes to the left hand side and also this guy will go back to the bottom i already have the design elements so let me paste them here this is just a simple icon and the confirmation of the order maybe this uh, number which is quite important because it will let you open the um, keys uh, open the, the drawer to get the keys and let me have this uh, number also on the second screen and change the opacity to ze zero so that i can link the layers and animate them and let me select the button confirm button now let's see create the animation after a tap i just go here with the motion effect and uh, let's edit the timeline now let's make sure that we have those elements links linked together this is the number from the first artboard so let me search in the info for the number from the pickup for artboard now let's select them all together and link those layers so now that the layers are linked i can make this animation shorter and just offset it so that it lasts for about 0.3 of a second now let's preview this animation from the beginning and there we have the elements going off the screen and the number is just about to uh, appear on the screen at the very end of the animation so it brings the attention of the user to the number itself and i think it's pretty important so there we have it let's go back to the artboards and let's see the flows that we've already completed so first you can select the car and you can choose between different cars we have the animations then you can preview the details of the car and we have nice transitions for this as well then you can use the filters to filter out the results and uh, also select this instant pickup button to go to the next flow where well, this flow uh, starts from this little button you can slide the thumb so that you specify the number of days afterwards you'll have the confirmation of your order ready but also you can specify what time you want to return the car with this second slider and it will lead to the next pickup artboard so when you have those uh, both uh, sliders set you can click on confirm and then you have the animation to uh, grab the keys from the drawer and yeah that's it for the flows for now and i see you in the next lesson